Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing so well. It is currently 8.30 on a Wednesday morning and I just pulled up at mum and dad's, collecting my mum and my sister and we're doing a little day trip today. It's actually the first time I'm taking Hunter sort of away from the area. So it's gonna be like a bit of a big deal for me, but hopefully everything goes to plan. Face. We just right. got here, time to find Look a cute little face. cafe yeah. for some yeah. brunch. And I can't help but smile. Today we headed to Berry, which is a little over an hour north of Ulladulla on the south coast of New South Wales. Berry itself is slightly inland and originally you did have to travel through it if you were heading north to Sydney, but now there is a bypass. So you do need to strategically pull in there if you want to visit this very quaint little township. It has a whole heap of cute shops along the main street street including cafes, homeware shops and today we didn't really have many plans other than just heading up there grabbing some brunch and having a wander around. This was also my very first experience breastfeeding out in public so I feel great that I am stepping out there in my mum confidence levels. With you everything's complete do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on. Just We've come to this cute little cafe, family tree, for brunch. I got the smashed avo and it's got poached eggs, mushroom, spinach. I also got a flat white. Shale's there chowing down on her bacon and egg roll. And then also got a cake. What is it? Lemon lemon cheesecake? Lime and lemon cheesecake. It looks delicious. back home the day out didn't go bad it didn't go 100% great either hunter was quite unsettled maybe i was overestimating myself by going somewhere like a bit further away and i probably should have started doing some little day trips just around town and closer first but that's a lesson learned i'm home now i'm so tired and i definitely need to put on the jug and make myself a cup of tea One thing that has made my days a lot less stressful is being able to recognize Hunter's tired cues and getting a lot better at developing some settling strategies to put him to sleep. So I've successfully got him down for a morning nap and I'm going to capitalize on what's probably only going to be half an hour to zoom around the house and get done a whole heap of chores and get set up for the day before he wakes up.
We're sticking a bit closer to home with some outings today, starting off with furniture shop, and then a look through Best and Last, and then hopefully Bunnings as well. Let's go. So we've got this TV unit coming tomorrow. And then I also want to get for our entryway, this little entryway table. They're in the Bordeaux range and we've got the um, dining table as well. And that console table too. So you can tell I've got a bit of a theme going on and I like this collection. Yeah, so cute. Hunter is cleaning up today. Quick little milk pit stop. We got back from town. I had lunch and just put Hunter down to sleep and I've got a few chores to do this afternoon before I can sit down and relax. We kind of went a little bit crazy in Best and Less just buying some things for Hunter. Um, there was so much cute kids clothes in there and um, when I had bought um, clothes originally, I would bought mostly sort of newborn stuff and mostly in neutrals. So it was fun being able to pick out some uh, more boy type clothes and there was yeah so much to pick from. So we sort of went a little bit overboard, but in saying that he is growing so big. So pretty much all of these newborn things are going to uh, he's going to outgrow them pretty soon. I put all of the um, size four zero little outfits up here on his um, cot so that I could know what's in that size and just be wearing all of that in the next couple of weeks, wearing it to death pretty much before we transition into the three zero stuff. Um, and so we bought a few things that will be great for um, winter time, so a bit bigger sizes, and then some things that will be all right for um, spring as well. So I'm going to unpack all of this and start putting it away. No. I need to put it in the wash first. I need to unpack it all, I need to cut the tags off, and then I need to wash it. Here is a very quick overview of what we got him because I know probably not a lot of people will be interested. We did pick up some shoes, these very cute books which are um, quite sensory. Uh, they've got like little rustles in them and different things that you can touch. So that will be great because I've got heaps of books for him, but not anything that's kind of like this that are super newborn scented. And then a couple of sort of more short onesies, a heap of jumpers, which would be great for the winter time. Also these sort of jean pants. We grabbed some button down shirts. So one with a pattern, a little flannel there, and then uh, some neutral ones as well, which will be great for um, winter for this one and then springtime for these. We got some more trackies over there and then two winter sleep suits, which are like super soft. And a couple of these things were on clearance, but um, unfortunately most of them were full price, but I think definitely Best and Less is one of the best places to get baby things that are good quality for a reasonable price.
In preparation for our new TV unit coming tomorrow, I'm going to clean off our current TV unit and get everything out of the drawer. And then I'm going to take that into our little activities room. We're sort of not really using that space at the moment other than to house my bookcase, but at some point it will probably be a little play area for Hunter. I'm not sure if we'll end up keeping this TV unit, but that is where it's living for now. I'm also going to clear off my current entryway table and take that into my little yoga room and style that up with a few bits and pieces to make that room seem a little bit more put together. I'm back to my regular scheduled film settings now and I just finished up having coffee with my friend Claire in Ulladulla. She has a little baby boy that's like two weeks younger than Hunter and he's got the hiccups in the back now but he was so well behaved and just chilled in my arms the entire time there and just had a little sleep and I patted him so it made me feel really good that I was able to get out and have some of that time with my friends and and feel like I've kind of got the whole mum thing happening so great success it is rainy and miserable but I'm gonna go home now and if the furniture has not been delivered it should be coming soon so i'm so excited about that and to get it kind of styled and have like another element of the house done so good unfortunately they did not deliver the entryway table but the tv unit is here so i'm gonna unpackage that now and set it up As previously stated, I do love this Bordeaux collection from Pacific Furniture and the kind of natural coastal wood vibes. However, one thing I will say about all of the wooden furniture in this collection is even though it comes packaged in a box, for whatever reason, the wood is quite dirty and I need to give all of the pieces a really good wipe down prior to actually using them. So this time I just used my spray and a wet cloth to get any of the kind of dust residue off the surface prior to putting anything in or on the TV unit. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to give the room a really good vacuum because unpackaging this certainly made the floor quite dirty. I am in love with the finished product. It is certainly more proportionate to the space and definitely makes the area look a lot more finished. And while I'm at some cleaning, I need to empty this vacuum cleaner. It is chock-a-block full, not all from that area, but after I gave that area a good clean, it was necessary to empty that as well. Getting later in the day and pretty shortly, myself, Dave and Hunter are gonna pile in the car and head up to Vincenia. That's where Dave's dentist is and he's got an appointment this afternoon. So we'll just go with to kind of keep him company and get out of the house, which I'm pretty happy that I've been able to do a fair bit more lately. Um, in the early weeks of my pregnancy, I was having a lot of anxiety about getting out of the house, particularly about how Hunter would be and just worried that I wouldn't be able to handle it if he was crying or if you know something had happened or whatever. I mean, 
for instance, today when I went out with Claire, it was such a good day. We were able to um, spend some quality time and catch up. He did have like a massive poo explosion just before we met up. I could smell it on the car ride to the cafe and I just knew that there was going to be a fun experience in uh, the boot of the car uh, just getting all nice and cleaned up prior to our little coffee date but other than that everything went smoothly so it makes me feel really good to be able to um, finally get out of the house a little bit more and have a bit more normalcy um, and allow him to experience new people, new places, things like that as well. And for me to see all my friends and family as well. So good vibes. Um, we do have this sort of intention of having um, sausages and baked vegetables for dinner tonight. But on the other couple of occasions where all three of us have gone to Dave's dentist appointment in Vincentia on a Friday afternoon, um, a Porto's does always seem like a very attractive idea on the drive home. So, I have a feeling that it's going to be an easy takeaway night. Hopefully Hunter will sleep in the car. Hopefully we'll be able to have like a good bedtime routine tonight and maybe even get in a movie this evening. I mean, I'm stretching my luck here. We've already had a really good day. Can we just keep on carrying it on? Let's hope so. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the last couple of days. I know it's been a mishmash of around the house, peaceful homemaking and out and about in different aspects of the world, but hopefully it was enjoyable to you nevertheless. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. I put out new videos every single week. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.